Hey guys, welcome back. Corey and Adam here for Bible Madness 2020. We're looking at the South Bracket, uh, heading into the Exalted Eight. Let me recap our winners and losers here. We have Moses taking out the ninth seed, Ezra. Joshua uh, defeats Zechariah. Setting up a nice little matchup. Exactly. Adam comes over top of Solomon. I picked uh, And then Isaiah takes down the seventh seed, Kohelet. Um, <laughs> Adam, talk to me about this matchup, particularly this Isaiah match. What, yeah. what do you think? I think uh, I think Isaiah uh, basically said from the beginning, and he and who did he beat first? He ended up beating Hosea in the first round. So no, he ended up beating Sylvanus. That was he just basically said, "Here I am, choose me." I mean, this man went bananas on Kohelet, and Kohelet. Great guy, maybe gets a little melancholic also, a little down in the dumps, a little bit. Uh, maybe felt there was no meaning to this game. Maybe he yeah. didn't realize he was in the big dance. Well, I don't know, but he, he played like it. Well, we caught up with him after uh, the game for a, for a live interview. And, and would you share with us his I words? I will. Gosh, yeah. gosh, gosh Corey, can I just share with you, really, really down in the dumps. Thoughts uh, out of his mouth, this is all I got. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly, it went Kohelet. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. I mean, yeah. I think that says it all. You know, his head wasn't got in the down. game, but you know whose head was in the game was Adam. Coming uh, out, he's got a strong opponent. Yeah. Solomon has the resources to build a team. He probably right? was the favorite. Solomon would be. Every insane. resource at his disposal, but, but Adam comes out on top. Yeah, Adam, uh, a man. Uh, some would say the top seed, maybe, maybe the, the seed. seed. The first seed, he could be. I can't. He's seeded three. I, he's seeded three in this tournament. You know what else we got in this round? He's a special. All of the first round upsets have shuffled out, right? We've yeah. got a number one Moses playing mm -hmm. number four Joshua, right. who's taking him into the promised land. Into the promised land. Who's going to take him into the promised land? We I got a know. number three Adam facing off number two Isaiah. Right. So we got some top seeds. Old here. Testament powerhouses yeah. in yeah, yeah, the yeah. south coming out of Judah. Old Testament powerhouses. Yeah. I really like to see this. I cannot wait to see the Moses Joshua round. Yeah. Who do you got? I got Joshua. Joshua you... is. Uh, he said I heard him. I also talked with him a little bit before uh, before his previous uh, uh, game, and he said, "I don't care what these guys are doing. Whatever you guys are doing, I." Me and my household will serve the Lord. I mean, this guy has a has a will, an iron will. I think he's taking it. You know, Moses Let's showed himself it. strong. He's it's the showdown of the lawbringers, right? The first lawbringer of Moses, the law restorer with Ezra, and Moses, OG, original prophet here, shows up strong. I like him in the next round over Joshua, and I'm picking Isaiah to go over Adam. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, no, I like uh, bottom line, I think Adam. We're going to need a second Adam to be able to get by Isaiah. Woo! Isaiah is on fire. He's on fire. He put Kohelet, once he said, here I am, choose me, he's uh, he's going to be hard to stop. I think he's going to the final four. That's my pick. Stick with us to see what comes Please in the next see. round. Bless you.